Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian and I have decided I will vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of this awful war with Russia. And in my daily videos I try to update you on the important real life situations in my country Ukraine and of course I'm always glad to answer your questions and to clarify some facts from our history, our culture, our background or whatever interests you. And today I have decided for the change of scenery, if you practice using this phrase to take you to the park on a run with me in the morning. It does not have any special sense, but many of you ask me about my life, uh, the fun that I get, and this is definitely one of the things that I like. And um, typically I like to sleep long, but with this war and with other things happening, I'm not a very good sleeper, sound sleeper, and I tend to wake up earlier. And I have decided to use this opportunity, so it is not an evening vlog, because traditionally I record evening vlogs and this is a morning vlog and it is even earlier than 8 a.m uh, somewhere 7 45 and we have come to the park but i will also introduce you to the road to the park because i live pretty close to it and um to tell you the truth i'm not a very sporty person and i'm not a good runner and when i say that i run in the morning i have started like two weeks or three weeks ago and mainly i walk because i'm a good walker and typically i walk a lot of uh, steps like i overdo this um, thing that you have to do daily but uh, somehow i decided that i want to try running and i don't run a lot long distances i will run like maybe 500 meters then i will walk and then I will run again and I always listen to music and my favorite music for running is Madonna she is a true inspiration for me and I like almost everything about her but for her less changes <laughs> in her appearance but in general she's a very strong personality and I like her music and I think it never goes out of fashion and uh, also in Ukraine we have a very famous runner and this is our former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko and uh, I'm not a fan of her politically, but I do think she's a very beautiful woman. And this is one of the things that helps her a lot in life. And somehow I like her as a woman, but I don't like her as a politician. And uh, in general, the park is empty at this period of time and not so many people are coming, just some for running, for walking, for walking the dogs. Uh, and um, I enjoy this emptiness because I'm a kind of person that I'm very sociable and it's not difficult for me to come in contact with people but I greatly enjoy walking alone and traveling alone also because I turn on this like observation mode and it's definitely easier when you are concentrated and do the things that you want. Now I will show you what I see right now for you to get the general imagination of this park and uh, it's um, view in the morning. This is the central cathedral and some cafes and this is also the closest walk to the park from the place where I live. This is the building of the seminarium, I don't know how do you call that, like where you can add beautiful flowers. And this is the building, I'm coming closer to the building of oh, the National Bank. And this is where perhaps the closest bomb shelter is located for me. So we have to know this place is. And I like the building, it's very solid if you can say it. And now this is a department of migration and an average street that with buildings and people's houses that leads you actually to the park and that's where we are going I'm not a fan of uh, filming somebody else's houses and yards and I believe people won't feel very comfortable but this is morning and they are sleeping and I'm not going to film something private so this is not a typical view of the Ukrainian yard I would tell you it looks like I don't know a terrace or something but this is what I pass by when I plan to have a walk in the park or to have a run in the park and recently I do it pretty often this is my kind of psychotherapy or something I prefer walking of course and when I walk 
I think or I listen to music. If I'm not filming, this is practically where I start running. This is one of the back entrances to the park and the road that leads to the market up above and some old buildings and the city center and the cathedral. You remember I was showing, so practically I can start running right here and you see it's all very green and it smells very nice in summer and uh, we have this territory that is very swampy and from what I know this park, this is the central park of my city Lutsk was created, was planned back in the 50s actually to demeliorate this part as it is close to the old town and you know that old towns were often built close to the rivers or surrounded by the rivers and my city was once an island and there are lots of swamps or marshes, how it's correct to call them and to make this territory suitable for walks and living they have planted lots of trees that like water but still there are lots of artificial channels where you can see some water and hello so let's go into the park oh i have a friend approaching but will he like me no okay <laughs> i made a mistake not to demeliorate but perhaps to meliorate so we come closer to the central part of the park and I see some people talking, <laughs> actually hear some people talking and this is the way to the central alley. You see we have a pretty cold weather today, plus 14 was when I woke up and now it's just like 7.45 or something. Actually it's pretty early for me, in normal times I sleep longer but with lots of these things happening in life I wake up <laughs> pretty early. So we have a dog, it's not my dog, I don't have a dog, actually I'm afraid of dogs, especially those that I don't know. Now you will see more dogs coming, because people like walking. Walking with the dogs is one of the most popular things people do here, so I train my fears, but in general so far never had any accidents we can count how many dogs I will meet today this one seems more serious you know a cafe uh, children's playgrounds I hated it since childhood and by the way this looks very very Russian to me Soviet style anyway and we approach the central um, alley and you see some people have already finished their morning run I personally like a bad dog what it does Ukrainians don't have a tradition to clean after their dogs and that is bad so this is a central alley and it's empty in the mornings and I personally like it another dog Actually, didn't manage to. I did not manage to film that, but this dog drank water from this fountain. I remember it since childhood. I was always afraid to drink water from it, but it's common. So these are alleys of the park, and they are not perfect for running because of this traditional covering, but um, people do. And also we have lots of flowers and other things here. This is a part of the park where you can just like climb various things. And I always wonder how come people pay money for this? Because even if I were paid, I would not try and do that. And different flowers if you like them. I like this park in autumn because the colors look very beautiful and then all of this flower beds they contrast with the colors of the trees and the skies and so on but anyway I think that this flower beds are one of the best in our city I 
I guess we will have a cool day today. And a lot of fresh air, you know. And me, not putting my feet on the bench. I'm a, a, a well-bred person. Also, I remembered what I want to tell you is that I like this park has lots of old trees because somehow in my city people are very angry with trees and they are cutting them and uh, planting new decorative trees and I always have this question why do we need so many decorative trees if we have normal old trees and they always have this like things that soon they can fall maybe they are dry and then they cut this tree and you see that it is totally normal and you feel really sorry about that so this might be a bad tendency and in general I do believe that old trees are very, very valuable and when I was small there were lots of them everywhere on the streets and you would practically walk in the alleys made of uh, greenery and this is one of my first memories like you have rain you have lots of green leaves and my city was one of the greenest in Ukraine and today uh, maybe it is still green but not the way I want it. We had COVID. I often took my students outside and the university is located pretty close so this was a nice location to have lectures. Sounds weird but that is a new normal. And one more alley and to tell you the truth guys we are lucky that in Lutsk we are allowed to walk in the parks because in many cities of Ukraine uh, the parks were mined and even in Kyiv the list of parks where you are not allowed to walk is really long because you can come across a mine and this looks so stupid in the 21st century in the center of Europe uh, orcs come mine your park and orcs leave dead orcs leave I am not a fan of such compositions I like it simple but many people in Ukraine love it that way this is like a Grand Canal you know but less busy I have been to Venice and <laughs> loved it but too many tourists for me and this is our Grand Channel by the way we do have fish in there but some kinds of fish like carp and others that can clean the water and you see oh thank you very much guys and here they are uh, also various stupid traditions like putting locks as a symbol I don't know friendship or love once again you see that I don't like such things but I don't judge people for what they like unless it's something harmful and one more thing that I want to show you today is our river, the bank of it. Hopefully we won't have lots of people there. And this is a kind of alley I actually like because you see squirrels live here. This is one thing, but also it is very, very green. And please forgive my, I'm not a good operator, like video manager, but you know, like I like sharing and this is how green it all. Well, not all but anyway it creates this feeling of a tunnel and it all looks pretty nice old trees are important you know this is going to be the greenest vlog of mine so far so we are approaching the local beach and I'm not a fan of it. I think that our river is not good for swimming, but definitely can be cleaner and more beautiful. But there are lots of people who swim here even in winter or do some sport. And on the other side of the river, you can see a village that is actually building too close to the river because sometimes we have floods and that may be dangerous and these are grass cutting machines if you wonder what the noise is and now we will go closer to the river and now how do you
you think? What we will see when we finish this running line? What will we see? Everything is very interconnected in Lodzk, you know? And we will see the castle. Right. And some people live so close to the castle and even having their orchard. You know, looks very medieval and unusual. They have lots of chicken here and a Soviet invention, an electricity station so close to the medieval historic attraction to spoil the views, you know. I like this kind of weather today. Well, I like all kinds of weather, you know. I'm not a huge fan of frosts and winters. I feel more depressed during cold seasons. But in general, now when you start valuing life, you realize that there are no bad weathers, no bad climates. Only war is a bad climate. So this is our river. These are our skies. There are no more excuses. I have showed you everything that I wanted to and now I have to run one kilometer. I talk so much about that and then I run one kilometer, but I walk a lot. And please let me know what kind of music you listen when you run, when you exercise. Are there any Madonna fans? Because I cannot say I'm a fan, I cannot get obsessed with a celebrity or something, but I do like her works and her uh, personality and the way she reinvents herself. And I dream to visit her concert one day. And uh, thank you very much for supporting my channel, for buying me coffee. I will have one after I finish running. And uh, Slava Ukraini! It did not turn off. <laughs>